Hi Cancer, I hope you're all well. This is going to be a general love reading for the second half of September for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs in Cancer. <clears throat> and it is general, so it's not going to be for everybody's situation. But of course you can check out one of your other signs if that's the case, one of your person signs, <clears throat> or you can get a personal reading. Also the roles can be reversed because this reading is general. So let's see what is going on with Cancer. So for the overall energy we have the garden and the gate. All right, so this is all about somebody being hesitant to possibly step out of their comfort zone, but definitely looking at it, looking outside of that gate, thinking about it. So let's get into this and see. So this is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Second half of September. So for the situation, we have the star crossed by the High Priestess, all right. Recent past, we have the Five of Cups. Near future, we have the Queen of Cups. For your energy, the Ace of Cups. What is going on here? Lots of cups. For them, we have the World. More for you is the Ten of Wands. For them is the Sun. And potential outcome here, we have strength. All right, first of all, let me just say there is so much major arcana here in this reading. Um, that would be one, two, three, four, five. Five out of the nine cards. All right, that's quite a bit. So major things happening for Cancer, second half of September. I feel like there is something here that is being hidden. There is a wish that somebody has. Um, I actually just, I mean, just by judging by the whole reading here, the whole spread, I feel like you both have this wish to have each other, but it's kind of being kept a secret at the moment or things are just um, a little bit quiet and possibly somebody is kind of avoiding their intuition a little bit or has been. All right, because we also have the Five of Cups in the recent past, so I feel like there's been some sadness, there's been some grieving, a sense of loss, possibly even um, some guilt on somebody's side here. So might I might clarify that. I usually don't clarify the past, but might do so for this one. Um, for you, we have the Ace of Cups and the Ten of Wands. There's a lot of love here. You are like full of love for this connection, which makes sense because that's why we have the star. You really wanting this. I also feel like there's a lot of healing that is happening um, between you and another person. But again, I feel like it's not very apparent at the moment. Whatever the situation is, you're, you're feeling really, really tired of this. I feel like this has just, it's something that you feel like has been dragging on and on and on and on. We'll see more when we clarify. So for them, with the world and the sun, there's a, there's a cycle here that is ending for them. Something is being completed successfully, which is actually leading to um, a lot of happiness, a lot of success, somebody really um, going after what it is that they want here. And I feel like this person having the sun here and their energy towards you is seeing you as something very, very beautiful. So we'll see what, what exactly the issue is here. Um, Queen of Cups in the near future, yes, that could definitely be your energy. This is also, again, like love showing up, intuition, strength as the potential outcome. I mean, that's just, that's just amazing here. Um, definitely, we have Leo showing up pretty strongly, actually. We also have Aquarius, and yeah, and lots of water, so could be, yeah, could be any sign though. So let's clarify, let's see what's going on here. Let's see the star with the High Priestess. All 
All right, so we have the Knight of Wands, the Eight of Pentacles, the Moon, Pisces energy showing up, and the King of Swords. Who is it that is hesitant? I feel like somebody is hesitant to follow their own intuition, to follow their guidance here, um, especially when it comes to something that they truly, truly want, um, or when it comes to healing something within their own self in order to have what it is that they truly want. This is really all about um, somebody needing to be um, more, a little more action oriented, a little more action oriented when it comes to what it is that they want. So I feel like this is somebody who may um, be a little bit inconsistent. I feel like there is some action. There might have been some communication. Whatever is going on here, there's, um, there's a lot of focus on what is going on within. So whoever this is, I feel like there's a lot of trying to figure out what it is that is creating some kind of a fear when it comes to following their intuition. So we'll see, this will probably make more sense to me um, once we clarify a little bit more. Let me see the Five of Cups. The Lovers and the Four of Wands. Oh, okay. So what happened here? Because I feel like there was... There was a commitment here. There was there was a bond. There was a relationship. Um, possibly somebody had had to make a choice and um, is feeling regretful about that choice that was made in the past concerning this love and um, is now feeling a little bit of regret. Yeah, and possibly even some guilt. But definitely a very um, there was a strong connection here. At one point, um, let's see, uh, yeah, and it's like there was, it was lost. It was lost. Let me see your energy, the Ace of Cups. The Eight of Cups, the King of Pentacles, and the Star showing up again. I feel like you're trying to you're trying to detach from this. You're trying to move away from this from this connection even though it's like you secretly still want it but at the same time um, keeping your distance. Let me see the ton of wands. Ten of Swords, the Hanged Man, and the Two of Swords. Yeah, you're, um, I feel like you're creating an ending here. I feel like this connection may be, it may have felt like it had already ended. There may have been some disappointment. There may have been a sense of loss, a lot of sadness, and a lot of grief um, in the past. But maybe like you were still holding on to it and I feel like you are beginning to try to detach yourself from it. Again, even though it's like you would still want this, but you're trying to heal yourself from whatever it is that this connection has caused you, all right? Um, again, it feels like it was a very, like, I, I feel like you've been holding on to this for a long time or you've just been carrying a burden of this connection for a very long time. And you really want to release this. And again, I feel like it's really hard for you to do that because you still have um, a lot of feelings and a lot of emotions for this person. And like I said, I feel like you still kind of secretly want this. You're just not really expressing it. You're not allowing it to, to really show or maybe even hiding it a little bit from your own self. So there's, it feels like you, you're kind of like torn, like you don't know what to do because, because you still feel these emotions so deeply. 
um, but then you're also feeling pain very deeply. And I feel like you may have been waiting for something to happen here, right, with that hanging man. And because it hasn't been, and you don't, it's like you don't really know what's going on, you're just trying to release this, and that too is causing pain. It's kind of like, well, there's pain if I hold on to it, and there's pain if I let go of it. So it's kind of like I'm doomed, which way do I go? So I kind of, I kind of do feel like that's what the situation is here in the middle um, for some of you. It's like you're taking some actions physically to detach. You're putting work into that to face that fear of moving away from this. And I feel like you're trying to be very determined with that because that's what your intuition is telling you. Um, but at the same time, you know, this is also... you kind of still holding on to that hope a little bit secretly within you. Um, and I'm not judging that. I'm not saying whether that's a good thing or not. Let's see what's going on with your person. We have the world, the six of, sorry, <laughs> clarifying the world. We have the six of cups, the ace of pentacles, and the four of swords. Yeah, so this person is having a lot of nostalgia as well um, for this connection. There's a cycle that they are completing from their past, and I feel like this is actually like throwing them on a new path. Whatever it is that is closing out for them, it's throwing them on a new path, which I feel is, it's like they're recovering from whatever that was from the past. So let's see the sun. Wands, the Six of Swords, and the Wheel of Fortune. This person is trying to really focus on their happiness. Whatever it is that they are closing out, um, again, it does feel like it is something from the past. Um, and whatever it is, I feel like they're very, like, they're doing it in a very successful way. Like, there's a lot of healing that comes with that. And this is why they're able to find this happiness. Um, following that. There's some kind of a shift here that this person is trying to make when it comes to really um, moving in a direction that is going to be more peaceful. So yeah, even though they are successfully closing out this chapter, I feel like this it's this new path, right, that is leading them to happiness there's still a little work that they need to do in order to fully get themselves there, but that's exactly the direction that they're headed in. So they're still in that process, all right, with that Six of Swords and the Nine of Wands. They're still in the process of um, fully um, transitioning from, from the one side to the other. So I kind of feel like this garden in the gate is applying to to your person in that sense that they were in this gate, right? I feel like they're outside of that now. They're opening the gate. They're stepping out, but they're standing right at the um, right at the exit, like right out of that. Like they haven't moved towards the other side to fully explore it just yet. That's what's happening here. So yes, that is opening up the path for them to find that happiness outside of the comfort zone. But they're gonna have to give themselves a little push, like it's still going to require some strength, which we do see coming up here, in order for them to continue on on this new path. It's like a transitional phase that they're in. Um, I do also feel like this garden in the gate is also applying to you in the sense of, you know, trying to release this. That would be you stepping out of your comfort zone, either f for one of either two things. Either to release this connection and, and really move forward, like allow yourself to fully um, experience that ending, or to step out of your comfort zone and actually face your true desires here and the secret wish that you do have for this person. 
So let's see the Queen of Cups uh, because I do see some emotions showing up here. Intuition. So we have the High Priestess and the Five of Cups. So there's a lot of deep understanding when it comes to whatever this disappointment was in the past, whatever these feelings of sadness and grief were in the past, there's, it's like there's a, um, these emotions coming up, but not so much in a painful way. I feel like it's coming up in order for there to be a deeper understanding of them. All right. And this is going to be between you and this other person here. All right. Because it's from the past. So it's the same person that is showing up here. Um, and I feel like your emotions will come to the surface even if you do process this ending. It, um, I feel like those emotions are still are still there. And I do feel like, you know, this person is also following their own intuition when it comes to how they feel. You're both following your intuition when it comes to how you feel about each other from the past, even if there was this loss of the connection. Let's see strength. All right, we have the Queen of Cups showing up again, the Knight of Pentacles, and the Ten of Wands. So this is what the strength is about. It's releasing, it's releasing um, that burden that you've been carrying. It's um, really letting go of whatever it is that is that has been causing this stress. Really moving in that direction of of love and of your intuition, of your emotions. All right, for the both of you and whatever that might be. All right, there's a release that needs to happen on both sides here. So whatever that comfort zone is for each of you, that is what is being released here. That strength is coming in, guiding both of you in the direction that is going to be for each of your highest good. And yes, for some of you, that this could be um, for coming back together. And then for others of you, it could be for moving on to something else. All right. I do, though, see that this person does have that, um, those emotions for you. But they're in transitional phase, as I said here. All right. And for some of you, I mean, really, it's going to be up to you um, what it is that you decide to do at the end of the day. Um, but strength is definitely coming in for you to help you through this. And it's also helping to guide the other person in the direction that they need to go in as well. All right. Each of you following your intuition. And if that means being together, well, then, you know, so be it. If not, again, so be it. So let's see the final message for you, if this resonated. And we have breaking trail. A breakthrough is at hand. So yeah, it's been a long journey. It's definitely been a long journey, but there is a breakthrough, all right, that is coming up and that's very apparent here as well. So yeah, I'm gonna leave it at that, Cancer. Um, I hope this resonated and much love.